This is Ajay for Tech Primus. Today we are going to see how to deploy an application to Cloud Foundry. I have created an account in Pivotal's Cloud Foundry instance. So if you see this is the console for the Pivotal's Cloud Foundry instance. So that is called Pivotal Web Services. If you see here this is how it shows. So I have two different spaces. One is called development, one is called tech primers. You can see different domains, you can see the members the accounts which I have then there is something called marketplace so in the marketplace you can add different services you can have the cloud storage you can have the database you can have um, different uh, analytics data you can you can identify all these here in the marketplace so we are not going to see uh, about the marketplace but we are going to deploy a simple application into the cloud foundry instance so I have a sample spring boot application which I have created so this will be like a rest server so if you see here it has different rest endpoints we can use them and then we can identify how it is working so what i'm going to do is i'm going to deploy that into cloud foundry so so before that what we need is a cloud foundry cli so there is a link uh, which i have given below so you can download the cloud foundry cli from the link which cloud foundry provides so you can use that and install it in your system so here i have installed it in my mac so so that is this command so if you see here cf login and then i have to give this particular command so let's do that and i will be prompted to log into the cloud foundry instance so i'm going to do that here so this is going to be the api endpoint which cloud foundry is hosted on so I have my email ID then I give my password so once I log in it will be setting the organization which is nothing but the tech primer then it is asking me to set a space so for instance now we are going to set the tech primer space so I have set the tech primer space now I am logging to the Cloud Foundry instance. So this is basically connected to the console which we are seeing here. So we are now logged into the Pivotal Cloud Foundry instance via command prompt. So now I need to deploy the application. So generally this particular Spring Boot application has created a jar. So there is something called manifest.yaml which this Cloud Foundry. So the deployment command for the Cloud Foundry is cf push. That's it. So if you don't give any path to a YAML file it will directly identify a manifest.yaml uh, so it will expect a manifest.yaml file so this is the manifest.yaml file which I am giving so internally inside the YAML file if you see the application name I am giving is spring boot tech primers then the path for the jar is this so inside target if you see there is a jar and then I am giving the domain what is the domain which I need this application to be deployed to so cfapps.co is the default domain which uh, um, Pivotal gives, gives for us so that is what I am giving then you can give the memory and how many instance of this particular application I want to deploy so if you see here this is just a simple rest spring boot application which I have created okay so let's do the deployment so I am just triggering a cf push so if you see the what the cf cli is doing is it's using the manifest.yaml file which we have here so this is nothing but this particular yaml file so it's using that and identified that okay it needs to create a application called spring boot tech primers under tech primer under the space tech primers so it's created that application and it's creating a root so if you see here our web url will be this spring boot tech primers dot cf apps dot io so and it's also binding that particular uri router to that particular application so and uh, if you see here what's happening is our application is getting uploaded so the jar is getting literally uploaded here upload is complete now so once it is completed it's identifying a build pack so I think it's downloading the build pack so build pack is nothing but um, uh, Cloud Foundry identifies what kind of application it is whether it is a var or whether it is a jar or uh, does it need any tomcat or does it need any uh, anything else or something like that so that is what the build pack does and then finally it creates something called droplets so droplet is like an artifact so based on the build pack and the jar it creates a artif uh, droplet basically it's an artifact for the cloud foundry so and that droplet can be deployed anywhere so that is what is happening here if you see here it's getting deployed 
and uh, upload complete destroying container it successfully destroyed container so it has destroyed whatever it has created uh, so looks like our app is up now so it's just checking the health of the app and it is all good let's go to the space here let me refresh the page and see if we have yeah i can see that already okay So looks like our application is deployed here so if you see here spring boot tech primer so we have the application running here so you can stop and restart here so if you want to see metrics for that particular application you can do that here so there is a url so before that let's go and check our application so there is if you see there is a tab called route so you can go and hit that so let me go and hit that so our application is up so but we need to use the correct rest endpoint so there are some rest endpoints which i have created so for example let's say if i give the hello world it's going to give me the greetings from the application yaml let's do that welcome to spring boot demo created by ajay so that is what i had done so same way there is something called users so what i have done with this sample application is I had created an in-memory database. So if you see here, nothing is coming. So I have created an in-memory database. So whatever we load here, it will be stored in the in-memory database and then we'll, it will be retrieved. So for example, uh, I can load the data by using this, um, using the load command. So I'm not going to show that uh, right now, but um, I had just uh, created a sample application. So this is how we deploy our application to Cloud Foundry. And then uh, Cloud Foundry, create uh, Pivotal Cloud Foundry, provides a trial account so if you see here this particular account is a trial account so they provide us 2 GB of data so we, which we can use so you can deploy a number of applications in this particular space so I have deployed one now so that is how you deploy the application to Cloud Foundry uh, simple isn't it so you just did a CF push and it automatically deployed the only thing is you need a manifest.yaml file using this file Cloud Foundry identifies okay these are the different attributes which it requires for deploying that application so that's it for this session meet you guys in another session thank you